Hello friends, welcome to edupediaword.com. In this video, we'll be discussing a theorem which relates tangent to a circle with the radius at the point of contact. Friends, tangent is a line which is intersecting the circle at a single point. That is, for AB to be tangent to the circle, let the single intersection point be P. That is, at P, there is no distance between the circle and the tangent. If we move slightly away on either side of P, then there will be distance between the corresponding part of the circle and the tangent which will vary in magnitude in fact will increase in magnitude as we move away from point P before discussing the theorem let us discuss shortest distance between a point and a line friends let us have a point X and a line AB now for a point and a line there are infinite number of distances possible. Let some of the distances be xr, xs, xt, xu and xv. Let they make certain angles with the line AB and let xt be making an angle of 90 degree with AB. Now friends, if we pick up a pair of these distances, say xt and xu, then xtu will become a right triangle. So xu will become hypotenuse. Now friends, hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle. Thus, we can say that in triangle XTU, XU, hypotenuse and therefore longest in triangle XTU or which implies XU is greater than XT. Similarly, if we pick XT and XV, then xv will become hypotenuse. So again xv will be longest in xtv and thus we can say that xv is also greater than xt. Similarly for the other side these two side will become hypotenuse for their corresponding triangles and we can say that xs is greater than xt and xr is greater than xt. Now even if we have a line very close to xt, it will not make 90 degree angle because there is only one possibility of the angle being 90 degree and it has been included in xt so it will become the other line will become the hypotenuse so we can say that xt is the shortest distance of all and what account for this shortest distance this perpendicular nature of xt. Thus we can say that shortest distance between a point and a line is the perpendicular distance. Now moving back to the theorem, let us join OP Clearly, OP is the radius of the circle because 
at point P there is no distance between the circle and the tangent. Let us have a point X on AB and let us join O with X. Let the point of intersection be M. Now clearly OM is also the radius. Thus we can say that OP is equal to OM. Now OX is equal to OM plus MX and OM can be substituted as OP. Now since some more quantity MX is being added to OP to get OX we can say that OX is greater than OP. Similarly, let us have a point cl more closer to P as X1. Let us join O with X1. Let this intersection point be M1. Clearly, this is also the radius OM1. Thus, we can say that OP is also equal to OM1. Now, OX1 is equal to OM1 plus M1X1. And OM1 is OP. Again, by the same reason, we can say that OX1 is also greater than OP. Because M1X1 is some additional quantity being added to OP to get OX1. Let us have a point more closer to P as X2. Let the point of intersection be M2. Therefore OM2 will also be the radius. Thus OP will also be equal to OM2. Thus OX2 will be OM2 plus M2X2. Now OM2 can be substituted as OP. So it will be OP plus M2X2. Or in other words OX2 is greater than OP. Now if we move more closer to P then also there will be certain distance between the circle and the tangent that is being added in every case with the radius to get the complete distance. P is the only point which is not having this additional distance between the length of radius and the point of contact. So we can say that OP is the shortest distance of the point O from the tangent. Now since OP is the shortest distance between a point and a line which we have proved that it is possible only when it is the perpendicular distance. So OP is perpendicular distance. Which implies that OP is perpendicular to AB. Now OP was radius and AB was tangent. Thus we can say that radius is perpendicular to tangent at point P which is the point of contact. So this is the meaning of the theorem. Let us discuss one more point. Since we can draw tangent at any point to the circle.
does at every point the tangent will be perpendicular to the radius for the same reason therefore we can write the statement of this theorem as tangent at any point to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact now let us have a simple question to more deeply clarify this theorem let us have a circle with center o and the point of contact be p of the tangent ab to the circle the radius is given as 3 cm and xp the distance between x and p is 4 cm we need to find the length ox friends now from the theorem we know that radius is perpendicular to ray to tangent through the point of contact thus op will be perpendicular to ab now to find ox we need to join o with x thus oxp triangle is right triangle right angled at p since it is right triangle therefore pythagoras theorem will be applicable which implies hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square now hypotenuse is ox let perpendicular be op therefore base will be xp which implies now base length is given as 4 cm and perpendicular length as 3 cm so it will be hypotenuse square is equal to 25 which will give us hypotenuse as plus minus of under root 25 but length can never be negative therefore rejecting the negative value we have hypotenuse as 5 cm now hypotenuse was ox therefore ox has been calculated as 5 cm so friends this was the theorem along with its proof and a numerical on this theorem thanks friends for watching this video